Open up the window. I'm going to be making a apple spice cake um, for Fall Food Friday with Moss Family TV. Now, I'm going to make some easy steps instead of making this from scratch. I have my sister's recipe and I've made this from scratch before but it, it's a lot of steps to it and it I just uh, figured um, I could buy a spice cake mix that I found um, at Walmart and just make the spice cake from that now I'm gonna be I've washed and cleaned and dried um, apples. I have three apples here that I'm going to, to peel and slice to put in here and then a cup of chopped pecans. Well I thought I had pecans but I have chopped walnuts instead in the freezer so I'm just going to uh, use the, the walnuts. That'll be fine. Walnuts, pecans, um, so let's get started. All right, so I've uh, chopped up all the uh, apples. And you chop them into like chunks like that. And uh, to tell you how to keep them from turning brown while you're waiting to do the cake and everything is to just... Uh, put lemon juice all over and mix it together and that'll keep them from turning brown. So let's get started on the cake mix. You make it by the directions on the box and you're going to put it in a 9 by 13 inch pan. So, let's get this opened. This, the one by scratch, is basically got everything that's in here. Oh, it smells so good. I need one cup of water. Three large eggs. You just mix it up. Open up the window. I'm breathing in the last of September. I can feel the wind blow. And the late summer sky is like a giant ember. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your apples in there but before you put them in there make sure that you rinse them real good and then drain them so you're gonna put your apples in there put a cup of either pecans or walnuts and you're going to fold them into the cake mix. Now you can you can chop your apples a little smaller if you want. Now this is four cups of chopped apples. So now what you do is make sure that you uh, spray the cake pan with um, non-stick spray 
So let's pour that into there. So let's spread that through there. Is you're going to put it in the oven for 28 to 33 minutes at 350 degrees. Yeah, just pull it out of the oven. It cooked for 30 minutes. And it's done, so now I'm going to let it cool completely. And I'm going to take the easy way out again and use this creamy cream cheese frosting instead of making my own. But this has um, the cream cheese icing recipe right here. Um, I'll take a picture of this recipe that was my sister's and I'll put it at the end of the, the um, video if anybody wants to copy the recipe from scratch down. Taking the easy way out on that one too. Now you can make your own homemade icing if you want. You just leave it in the pan though and spread it across. And I want to thank Fallon for doing this Fall Food Friday again this year. Now what we're going to do is we're going to um, add some, you can add some pecans or you can add some chopped walnuts to the top. So I'm just going to sprinkle some chopped walnuts on top. You see what it looks like in there and then this piece you can see the apple in there okay let me taste it for you you can see it there's pieces of apple. Now, like I said, you can cut them apples smaller if you want. Mmm. That's pretty good. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe. And click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Bye.